and welcome to the Commando Way. I'm Staff Sergeant Jessica Kuliak. And I'm Staff Sergeant Alex Mercer. This week, we're going behind the scenes of a place that has not been previously covered by our PA team. And later, Senior Airman Ebony Reese will have you laughing so hard it hurts during this week's edition of On the Spot. So let's jump behind the scenes of Cannon's Rap Con. The mission at Cannon is, is basically to train and equip pilots and aircraft for downrange operations. So it's our job to get them airborne, get them to their training routes, ensure their training gets accomplished in a safe and timely manner. My favorite part of the job is, is kind of two, two faceted. The training aspect, building brand new controllers, taking them from, from somebody who knows really nothing about air traffic control to uh, providing an experienced, well-versed air traffic controller, you know, be it for the Air Force for four or five years and then they get out and join the FAA, or if it's uh, building a controller that it's going to be in for the next 20 or 30 years. Test one, two, three. Um, the second one would probably be just, just when it gets busy. The endorphins that kick in when you're talking to 20 or 30 planes and ensuring separation and, and the whole thought in the back of your mind is, if this radar scope goes down, I've got to control these guys basically in pitch black. Not, not having a visual reference to where they're at. We call that non-radar. Um, controllers are, are very thick-skinned. They've been taught ever since tech school that you can't make mistakes. Mistakes are, are what kills people, and it's not, you know, it's not just us or one other person. It could be a, a commercial airliner that we're talking about. So there are no mistakes in air traffic control. So the whole time that they're going through their tech school, their whole time in, in upgrade training when they get to their first base is a constant pressure put on them so that by the time they do get upgraded and fully certified, they're used to the stressors. It's hard to imagine getting used to it, but you, you do, you get used to the stressors. But air traffic control is a very technical career field and we know that and we act every day knowing that. Um, you can be assured that every day these guys come in here and will separate Every aircraft will sequence them without error, without any delay. Every controller that comes through uh, Cannon Air Force Base, we ensure they are a quiet professional, a uh, top-notch air commando, all poised here to control planes for AFSOC and meet the mission downrange. Now those are some truly impressive air commandos. They work long hours in complete darkness, keeping our airspace safe. Without the RAPCON, our mission would not be possible. Let's take it over to more air commandos who are being asked to decode military jargon on our next segment, On the Spot. The most persistent myth uh -oh. about the Air Force. These were allegedly used during basic training when trainees needed to take a moment to relax. A, bathroom breaks. B, stress cards. C, meditation. D, yoga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go for Bravo stress cards. Bravo Let's stress cards. <laughs> Next question. This is a phrase used to refer to pulling the wedges used to prevent a stationary aircraft from moving while parked on the flight line. A. <laughs> a. Wedgie pulling. B. Pull chocks. C. Pull wedges, or D, pull blocks. B, pull chocks. Good job. Here's the next question. A phrase used to give praise for a good job. A, good job. B, way to go. C, bravo Zulu. Or D, air power. <laughs> D, air power. It's actually Bravo Zulu. Oh. Okay. A nickname for an aircraft's garbage can is A, filing cabinet. B, file 13. C, trash can. D, rubbish container. Because you, <laughs> you know the answer, that's why I'm looking at you. I'm not going to tell you the answer. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, hmm. 
take an educated guess. <laughs> I'm gonna go with B. Which was? Was it file 13? Good job! <laughs> okay, last question, so bring it home. <laughs> the phrase hit the deck means to A, get out of bed, B, fall or drop to prone position, C, prepare for action, or D, all of the above. Oh, 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 I like phone a friend. Can I do, can I do that? No lifeline. Uh, <laughs> the Air Force D. 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 All of the above. B, B, B. Oh, he B. Hit him with the slum dog. B. B. Is that, is that your final answer? I said B. Bravo. Bravo. Which was? Hit the, uh, <laughs> uh, hit the floor or something. Your answer is B, hit the floor. <laughs> hit the, go prone. Yeah. Go prone. Go prone. B, go prone yeah. is your answer. B, whatever it was. <laughs> That's incorrect. It's all of the above. Oh. Thanks for your participation, Air Commandos, and great job on that military jargon. Now it's time for the latest news around the Air Force. A weather satellite launched in 1995 by the Air Force Space Command has apparently exploded. The U.S. Joint Space Operations Center is tracking 43 pieces of debris after the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration detected a thermal spike in the satellite February 3rd. JSPOC will continue to investigate the event. Six other satellites are still operable and will provide weather data for the military. AFSOC is testing the addition of a second 105mm cannon on the rear of the already heavily armed AC-130J gunship. This will be the largest weapons payload in Air Force gunship history, making it the ultimate battle plane. An Air Force-wide food transformation initiative will usher in a new era of dining experiences at Cannon Air Force Base. The FTI is a directive aimed at enhancing the quality of life and sense of community a dining facility can bring to airmen and their families. FTI renovations are scheduled to begin May 1st at the Pecos Trail Dining Facility. The drop zone should be open to augment the change. All unaccompanied dorm airmen with a meal card will receive BAS during the entirety of the DFAC closure. After the change, all personnel with base access will be allowed to either use their meal card or pay to eat at any SOFSS operated facility. That wraps up this edition of the Commando Way. I'm Staff Sergeant Jessica Kuliak. And I'm Staff Sergeant Alex Mercer. Keep doing what you do, Air Commandos. Anytime, any place.